Okay, let's look at unit conversions within the metric system. Okay, so I'm looking at changing within the metric system using changing prefixes. I start with a base unit. The base units are usually going to be meters, grams, liters. Okay. If I go down the stairs, deci, centa, and milli, deci is one tenth, milli is one hundredth, and centa is one one hundredth, and milli is one one thousandth of a meter. If I go up the stairs, I have deca, which is 10, hecto, which is 100, and kilo, which is 1,000. So the rule for conversion is going to be, if I go down the stairs, I'm converting to a smaller unit. So going from the base unit down the stairs, I'm going to a smaller unit, and what I'm going to do is move the decimal point to the right, or I'm going to multiply by the corresponding value. If I go up the stairs, I'm converting to a larger unit. And what I'm going to do is move the decimal point to the left, or I'm going to divide by the given unit. So if I have one meter, that is going to be equal to a thousand milliliters. Going down the stairs, converting to a smaller unit, Therefore, I would move the decimal place to the right three places to get a thousand because I went down three stairs here. So one meter is equal to a thousand milliliters, or I can multiply one times a thousand and get a thousand. If I go up the stairs to kilo, I'm going converting to a larger unit. So therefore, I'm going to move the decimal place to the left three. And what I get is 0 0.001 kilometers is equal to 1 meter. Or what I've done is divided 1 by 1,000. Okay, going down the stairs, I'm converting to a smaller unit, moving the decimal point to the right, depending on how many stairs I go down. Or I'm going, if I go up the stairs, I'm converting to a larger unit, and I'm moving the decimal point to the left, those many stairs. That concludes our lesson.